It's a high-stakes political standoff. On one side, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy and most of his party. On the other, a cadre of strong-willed Republican rebels. In six ballots over two days, McCarthy's mainstream Republicans have McCarthy. failed to muster the votes to elect him as Speaker of the Cartwright. U.S. House of Representatives. A Speaker has not been elected. It was a scene of Republican disarray. A block of 19, then 20, then 21, mostly members of the Freedom Caucus, repeatedly stopped the party leader from reaching the necessary 218 vote threshold. McCarthy began the second day of voting with optimism. But the Republican rebels want to dramatically limit the size of the federal government and overhaul the congressional rules to do that. And a series of concessions failed to satisfy them. After hours of deadlocked votes, they took a three-hour break for equally fruitless negotiations. Will the House be in order? Then quickly adjourned for a second day without a speaker. It. Democrats watched the slow-paced collision with glee, one bearing an armload of popcorn. The contrast between House Democrats on the chaos and confusion taking place on the other side of the aisle could not be more clear. Democrat Hakeem Jeffries topped every vote but fell short of the majority needed to win. Without a speaker, the House can't pass laws, make committee assignments, or even swear in its new members, leaving the United States without a functioning House of Representatives. One Democrat in particular lamented the congressional chaos. It's embarrassing for the country. I mean, literally, and I, I'm not making a part of this reality is that, you know, to be able to have a Congress that can't function is just embarrassing. We're the greatest nation in the world. How can that be? As Republicans battled it out on the House floor, President Joe Biden joined Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell at a bridge connecting Kentucky and Ohio funded by a bipartisan infrastructure law, showing that even divided government can function when both sides cooperate. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Capitol Hill.